Alrighty, hey guys, I know I've been waiting forever to make this video, but here is the house that I have been working on for over a month. Not even taking that long, I just haven't feel like working on it that long, that's why it took so long. Because I've working on my, my popsicle stick house, as you all know. So, yeah, and I was busy too, I've been going, you know, places and stuff. Yep, but, uh, here it is, my biggest house yet. Now, I'm probably going to get some dislikes, and you're probably like, what, dislikes? What are you talking about? Well, because I have to show you something that you're not going to be too happy about. Now, the front looks all right, you know, it looks awesome. Three-car garage, all the windows, oh man, it looks just awesome, you're probably saying. And the little garden, the tree and everything, look at that, that's, that's pretty cool in there, too. It's like a little gap, like space out in there. And this is a totally new um, mechanism for the garage door. As you can see, I didn't use plates. I used, oops, my hand can't get it up. Oh, there it goes. Uh, I used uh, bricks instead of plates for the garage door. It's a three-car garage. It's very spacey in there. And uh, I use this smaller door. Okay. Let's just try to put that back on. Can't do it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yep, so that's that. That's basically the front. That little coming out window. Those two. Looks pretty cool. Now, this house has three and a half bathrooms, four bedrooms. Let me name all the rooms. So, three car garage, a laundry room, a library or study, a sunroom, kitchen, breakfast room, a humongous family room and living room, dining room. Sitting room, uh, and a whole bunch of closets and big bedrooms, and it has a Jack and Jill bathroom. I'll show you what that is if you don't know what it means. All right, so what? What I'm you're probably like, oh yeah, why do you? Why is it so bad? Um, now, please don't dislike it or anything, just for this. But um, I kind of ran out of pieces, so look at it back. Yep, didn't even finish it. I couldn't even do plates for our other ceiling. <laughs> yeah, you're probably like, oh man, that looks terrible. I kind of admit it. I mean, like, I probably would have, like, done it maybe because I still have a good amount of pieces. But I was just too lazy. And I've been working on this forever. Oh my god, let me tell you. I never worked on a leather house this long before. That's the chimney. Not really a chimney, it's just kind of like a vent thing coming out. This window coming out. I mean, it's just it's kind of a section of the house coming out for that bedroom and I'll show you that in a little bit that little area there's no backyard of course but I didn't really care about that so yeah that's that that's the top this thing is huge it's like uh two uh 32 by 32 base so it's long and uh 116 by 32 base plate long going 16 wide so that's a lot that's big now you probably want to see all the details inside, which is I'm going to show you right now. Now be patient and bear with me here as I take the uh, thing off because it's probably going to be kind of hard. Me, sorry about that. That was just thing, that thing. Whatever. All right. So I gotta like take all this off, just like one at a time, because it's so heavy and it's just gonna like break and collapse if if I don't. So hold on a second. Ugh, so heavy. Oh my god, and I gotta tell you, this thing is heavy, like, super heavy. Like, I can't even tell you, it's just, like, the first floor I thought was, like, really heavy, but with the second floor and the roof on, it'll be even heavier. So, yeah. So, here's the inside. There's a pathway, just leading into that, just a little area, porch area, whatever you want to call it. Here is the garage. This garage, three car garage. You can fit like four actual four cars in there and like still like two motorcycles or something. But yep, that's the garage. Very spacious. Has a door and a window. And look, check out this mechanism. That was awesome. I designed this by myself. Well, I design everything by myself when I'm building my Lego houses, as you probably know. They're all custom. 
Yep, and uh, yeah, that's the garage basically. Now, this house, I usually do my foundations, as you probably all know. On uh, one brick layer, just like, you know, one brick layer, and then I put plates or whatever on top of that. Or uh, tiles or whatever I want to put as the floor. But this one I didn't. I actually just put a layer of plates, and then I just put another layer of plates, like what you see on there. So that's, it's not that elevated, but the walls are higher. Alright, whatever. Shut, I'm going to shut up and just show you all the details. This is the laundry room. As you can see, it's pretty awesome. Closet. It's huge, actually, this laundry room. Every room in this, this house is huge, so. Door and window and stuff. Then you make it right over here. And you're into the study or library. Now, this furniture, I just did it, did this like two minutes ago. Like, oh my god, I didn't even want to do the furniture. I wasn't going to do, do it, but you're, you're probably like, oh man, why didn't you have furniture or anything? So, yeah, that's the furniture. Just kind of threw it in there really fast. Walk into the breakfast room over here. Basic. There's the sunroom, those windows. There's a little overhang from the bar from the sink. And now here is the huge gourmet kitchen. That was huge. It well, it that was awesome. What it was what I meant to say. There's mom cooking dinner. Oh shit, my ta my camera's coming running out of time. Sorry about that. Um, here's the hallway. Here's a butler's pantry. Cool how I did this angled wall. Here's where the basement would be. Now, let me show you this big staircase over here. That's awesome. There's where the front door comes in. Two closets on the other either side. Uh, you walk in. There's the uh. Hallway into the dining room, and there's the powder room or half bathroom yeah. cabinet. Yep, so that's that. All that. Here's the family room, which has a fireplace and some random uh, stuff in there. There's the living room, both huge rooms. The fireplace. Oh god, my camera's running out of time here. Sorry about that. Hope I'm able to. I hope I'm able to finish it. There's a little area mat or floor mat or whatever you want to call it. And, uh, yeah, that's the little um, oven and stuff on there, refrigerator, food in every cabinet, window, fireplace, uh, awning for the back. And that's basically the first floor. Sorry I'm going so fast, my, my camera's running out of time, and I want to show you every little detail of this, so hold on a second. Oh, and I made some windows for the garage, so it's pretty cool. Yeah. So there's where the stairs come up. It's pretty nice. Look at that. That's that's awesome. It's like there's no like little gap or anything. It's like perfect. It just comes right up on the landing. That's awesome. There's this huge hallway. Sorry, I thought I never mind. <laughs> this door leads into a twin bedroom. There's a bedroom. Walk in closet with actual shelves. There's a bathroom. Neat looking bathroom in there. That is awesome. That popping out tray window, the shower, and everything. Yeah, whatever. You don't, you don't really care. Here's the guest bedroom. Now, here's the Jack and Jill bathroom. This is cool because there's like a hallway, there's like a sink and walk in closet there. Then you walk into the like the main bathroom where the toilet and the tub is, and there's a closet. I couldn't even finish the tiling because I said I ran out of pieces. There's a sink or vanity. You walk in, there's a walk in closet, some shelves as you can see. Into this bedroom, which is that that this room is awesome. Look at that. The furniture is awesome. The tiling, which is supposed to be carpeting, but whatever you know what I mean. Entryway into the Jack and Jill bathroom, which leads into this bedroom. And that's basically just what a Jack and Jill bathroom is. Closet, holy closet. Over here is the master bedroom. There's the walk-in closet with the shelves on the other side. Sitting room, just plain a. Didn't even have any furniture to finish that, so whatever. Um, master bathroom, which is there's the sink, uh, the yeah, there's the sink, double the vanity with mirrors, bathtub, toilet, and uh, shower, which opens up stuff like that. Yeah, so it's basically it, and that's basically it for the whole house. So my camera is gonna like run out of time like any second now so yeah that's it basically yep uh... we'll have more videos in the future my next house by the way is going to be amazing it's going to be so much detail so much more than this D th that one will probably be the best house so yep that's it so for now thanks for watching